Alrighty, folks, welcome back to Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. My name is Jay, and you are the JT. We're at room 261. We're doing these 10 sessions apiece, nice and casual, trying to absorb the full experience, the full spooks. Um, nothing too, too bad so far. Uh, very much unliked enemies when that happens. The AI. The things that really got us were actually the the little spooks, the little cardboard cartoon spooks they toss out with audio. Just seemingly nowhere. That stuff has gotten us fairly well. I think one in particular, but let's get let's get on the show here. But we're just enjoying the ride, nice and casual. So we got our goblin goop room. 261. Other than that, it seems to be in the clear. We got torches and a choice of two lovely doors. Two lovely doors. We've always been choosing the right door, and we've we've managed to be fairly okay with the right door. So we're gonna just keep continuing on with that, unless things get really iffy. Then we might try the left door. Chances are we're gonna run into a foe by room 300. So. A new foe. Not good. No thank you. Room 261, why is it facing us towards the wall? Oh gosh. Come on, you spook. I know you're there. Cardboard. Cartoon. Fluffy, duffy character. Hiya. Yeah, dang it, I knew it. I knew it. Holy moly, does that just send shockwaves through your arms when that happens? Oh my gosh. I knew it. I knew you were there. I knew you were somewhere. Eventually. You just anticipate this kind of stuff. You just anticipate it. You know it's at some point. Alright, so this one's like a tree stump. Looks like a tree stump. So it spawned us there, wanted us to go there. We had the choice to go here and explore, and sure enough, there was a spook. So we got the torched hallway, one spook. Um, but yeah, there was one prominent one that got us pretty the best, anyhow. It got us pretty good. Um, it might be one where the audio was messing up, but I have to do a commentary over or something. But 261 is in the clear, 21.6, 26.3% of the way now. We got a another goblin goo room. Alright. All these pools of goblin goo, what is the deal with them? And you hear that bit of ambiance, that's like an alien world type noise. <clears throat> the ambiance is one of the best bits of this game. It's really strong. Usually it would be more mellow, I would think. More, more subtle. More quiet. Alright, 263, just a double goblin goo room. Thankfully. Alright, back to one of these. This is just crazy random rooms. Alright, just the support beams in the containers. Think of how worse they could make this map alone. Just have things fly out of here these things. Oh, that would be terrifying. You could have this game just be the template for a sequel. You could think of infinite things and just build upon this one, the variety it has. So it, it, it could get way worse, but we're, we're only a fourth of the way, so we'll hold off that comment. Alright, 264 in the clear, 265. Come on, you spook. Yep. Ha 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 ha. 
You can't fool me, you little pumpkin. You were on my side this time, weren't you? What they should do is if it... Well, there's no way for it to tell if you if you didn't get spooked, but for variety's sake, they, what they should do is you get less paranoid about them because one just popped up and, and then just have it be on the opposite side right after it. Just boom. So you wouldn't expect that one. So that's something they could add in for variety. All right, so another spook, that one. You're not getting us. You're not getting us. 265 is in the clear. All right, we got a table. The worn out painting thing that looks like eyes, or face, and mouth, eyes, and a, let's just call it a wrinkle or an eyebrow. Now this is new. Oh my gosh. What in the hang? This don't look too friendly. Bunch of distorted hands. And then whatever that might be. Oh, don't have that be the face. This is all just distorted. What in the hang? Ah, our new foe better not be this thing. And what abilities would it have? Ay, ay, ay. That stuff right there, it makes it look like it's ribs. But it's not. Might just be more fingers. Ugh. Ugh. And what's the yellow? Why is there yellow? Yellow, greenish, yellow. I don't know. All right, 266 is in the clear. We're just inspecting mansions here. Oh, this is just a different variant of the double choice. Usually the table's there. The paintings are around. The torches are there. All right, so we got a mat. <laughs> I was initially paranoid just about the mats, just in case they do anything or could do anything later. I also thought the rooms would... Uh, change differently over time. Alright. So no torches to indicate or not indicate something. We always have the choice, but we're going to just stick to the right room. We haven't run into any <coughs> enemy this f so far for this section. Oh, gosh, I hate that effect. I like the light source, but I hate that effect. Greened out, gobbly goo, double room. The torches. Okay. Now, are you gonna send another spook? By any chance? Paranoid. You got it. You gotta. You gotta throw us off our game here. Give us a spook. At the right time, or the wrong time, rather. But no, it's in the clear. Sometimes they can put them right near the door. They gotta keep doing variety because we, we keep getting used to used to things. You gotta you gotta get it when you least expect it. And for the game to time that is just random because the game is random. So, all right, twenty six point eight percent of the way. Ah, uh, why does it just sound like? Containers on a ship sometime. Alright, we got the torched hallway. Oh gosh, and it goes left and right. Perfect spot. Oh, we got a webby to distract us. Oh no, what? Which way do we go? Let's peek. Door. Book. Nope. Alright, 269 is in the clear. We just have a spider webby. Ooh, we have been staying safe. And this thing, this dang thing. 
All right, so we've essentially made it to 271. Good. This ding room, I don't know how to make sense of it at all. You are here, but we're going nowhere. It's all just one giant scripted map. The doors are essentially teleports. Maybe. I don't know. And then you got these pieces that just make it even more random by flying over the board and could connect certain rooms to certain rooms. I have, I don't know. I don't know what, how much they're revealing of the developer side there. But it always says you are there. You are here. There. It, it never moves. It just never moves. So we're... So we've kind of always been in the same place? I don't know. In a ge geographic sense? All right. 270 is in the clear. 271 looks lovely. 271 looks lovely. Lovely for next time. All right. We made it to 271. So two out of five sessions this time. So 60% chance we run into the foe next time, I would assume. A new foe. Possibly. Not ideal. Not looking forward to it. But it's been fairly easy so far. This, So I'm, I'm kind of surprised that it's not ramping up a little bit more. But surely whatever, whatever gets tossed at us will counterbalance that. So 27.1% of the way. We got three more to go this session. Videos trying to do 10 rooms a piece, around 10 minutes. Just casually running through, get the best of the experience. So, so thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more Spooky's Jumpscare Mansion. I will see you. Up ahead, as always, take her cool.